to define, I, I guess I kind of think of it more in terms of the opposite. So like someone who's not ambitious is someone who's kind of contented, right. um, settled, you know. So I'd say maybe um, ambition is discontent, um, but also with, a, also with an element of focus. So like, you know, someone who's able to put aside the distractions and narrow in on whatever they're ambitious about. So are you ambitious? Um, I think by that definition, maybe not so much. Right. <laughs> or less and less. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, certainly going back, I would, I would say I was ambitious. I think um, quietly ambitious. I think right. that's kind of a, a Kiwi version of ambition. It's kind right. of, you know, like um, we like our All Blacks to be great players, but when they score a try, they run back to halfway with their heads down kind of thing. So no swan dive. I would sort of, I, I, yeah, I guess I would put myself in that. Especially in business circles, um, people are sometimes criticised for topping out. You know, right. it's kind of the cliche of um, you know the, the success, which is kind of just good enough. So you right. can get a flash car and a holiday home. Um, I kind of discount that. I think that um, you know, that, that sort of logic is a bit broken because if you extrapolate from that, you know, where do you stop? You stop when you can afford the private island, or you know, there's kind of no upper limit. There's always another level. Um, and so, yeah, I think in New Zealand, I think the important thing for us is that we have our own version of that. Mm. Um, you know, we were talking before about that kind of humility component to it. I think often people who are pushing New Zealanders to be more ambitious are actually trying to make New Zealanders more like other countries' version of ambition. And um, I, think, I think we have our own definition if we are honest about it. That probably suits us, suits us better. Um, so it's kind of, you know, because everyone else has taken kind of thinking.